Hello everyone, I'm Yuncheng Lu from Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. It is my great honor to share our work with you. Today, I'd like to introduce our research of an ultra-low power real-time hand gesture recognition system. This presentation will go as following six parts. The introduction and motivation, literature reviews, algorithm of the proposed HJR system, the hardware design of the proposed HJR system, measurement results, and the conclusion. First, let me briefly introduce the research motivation. Hand gesture recognition is widely applied in the daily life because it provides a natural and intuitive approach of human-computer interaction. For example, the touchless elevator system, gesture controls via glass and a smartwatch. However, because of the limited battery capacity and the relatively low computational capability of the edge platform, the hand gesture recognition system based on the edge devices need to consume less power while achieve short latency and high accuracy at the same time. Now, let's focus on some literature reviews about the state-of-the-art HDR system. The HDR system can be classified as non-vision-based HDR system and the vision-based HDR system according to the sensor type. First, I will introduce some non-vision-based HDR system. This capacitance-based 3D gesture sensing system on the left can detect hand location with a distance from 20 to 30 centimeters. However, this system consumes relatively high power. What's more, it can also requires a large sensing panel which restricts its portability. The ultrasonic sensing system on the left can also detect the gesture location in 3D space. However, because this system needs to keep emitting ultrasonic signal to detect the hand all the time, so it consumes high power. The infrared sensor based HDR system is insensitive to the interference from the background and illuminance variance. It is also power efficient thanks to the simplified algorithm. However, the complicated analog front end pre processing circuits for the infrared signal cause large chip error. Besides, the oversimplified algorithm requires hand moving with a fixed gesture type and fixed moving speed, which limits the flexibility of the system. The vision based HDR system is widely explored because users just need to apply gestures in front of the image or the camera which is much convenient. The vision-based 3D HDR system, proposed in ISCC 2018, enables accurate hand tracking with the help of several CNN. However, the computation-intensive algorithm results in high power consumption, large chip error, and long processing latency, which makes it not suitable for wearable devices. The power-efficient HDR system with a grayscale on chip sensor, can recognize 24 dynamic gestures. It detects different motion only based on the uttermost edge of each frame, uh, like shown here. Uh, and therefore, the computational load and on chip memory is dramatically reduced. So, the power and latency is dramatically reduced. However, this system requires hand moves with a fixed gesture type and speed, which limits the flexibility. Besides, the grayscale image-based algorithm is sensitive to the noise in the background, which compromises the accuracy of the system. In summary, the aforementioned HGL systems faces four main challenges when applied in the smart edge devices, like high power, low accuracy, low flexibility, and long latency. Therefore, a low-power, accurate, real-time hand gesture recognition system for smart A devices is required. Now, let me introduce the algorithm of the proposed HDR system first. The proposed vision-based HDR system can recognize 24 dynamic gestures in total. And each dynamic gesture is composed of one or two of the static gestures as listed below. They are uh, horizontal, vertical, bottom left diagonal, bottom right diagonal, 
after left diagonal and upper right diagonal. In order to recognize the dynamic gesture, we need to recognize the static gesture in each frame first. To recognize the static gesture in each frame, many prior arts utilize the convolution neural network, which can achieve high recognition accuracy. However, for conventional CNN, the convolution kernels need to convolve with the whole input image, which is computation intensive and requires long processing latency. Besides, the network structure is complex and requires long processing latency. To solve this issue, we propose an HCN. It classifies six kinds of static and hand gesture only based on the pixel data on the four edges of the hand region. In this figure, the VE1 and VE2 represent two vertical edges, and HE1 and HE2 represent two horizontal edges. Besides, the uh, HCN only consists of two layers, a 1D convolution layer and a fully connected layer. As a result, compared with the conventional CNN, the HCN reduces at least eight times of the computation load and the processing latency. To improve the robustness of the system, we propose a decision tree classifier to work with the HCN together. The decision tree classifies six static gestures based on two kinds of rollable features. The first one is the average of the row sum and the average of the column sum of the hand region. Uh, that is the RAVR and CAVR in this figure. And another feature is the sum of the diagonal half array. They are bottom left sum, bottom upper right sum, and upper left sum, bottom right sum. Given these two features, the decision tree can classify static gesture within two steps. For example, if the absolute difference between the RAVR and CAVR is less than 9, it would be classified as diagonal gesture. Then, if one of the half array sum is larger than the others, for example, BLS, then the static gesture will be BLD. This is an ensemble model proposed for dynamic gesture recognition. For each frame in the dynamic gesture, the HCN and decision tree will generate two static gesture recognition results. Then, one or two dominant static gestures will be selected from the recognition results through majority voting. Combining the dominant static gestures and moving directions, the dynamic gesture can be determined finally. After explaining the key symbol model for the dynamic gesture recognition in this system, let me briefly uh, illustrate the whole operation flow of the entire system. It incorporates three stages. In the idle stage, each input image will be pre-processed and detect whether there is a motion. If a motion is detected, the algorithm moves to the FE stage, namely feature extraction stage. In this stage, the features for two classifiers will be extracted for classification, and the hand location will be detected in the meantime. Then, in the recognition stage, HCN and decision tree will output two recognition results for each frame. Finally, the dynamic gesture will be determined through the majority voting scheme. Now we already know the algorithm flow of the HGR system. Then let's go to the hardware design part. This is the overall architecture of the whole HGR system. Images from the camera will be pre-processed by the pre-processing unit. Then the recognition core will generate recognition results for the static gesture in each image. Finally, the sequence analyzer will determine the dynamic gesture type based on the sequence of static gesture recognition results from the recognition core. The recognition core is composed of five main modules. When a motion detected by the motion detection unit, the recognition process will be activated. The hand localization unit will detect the age of the hand region 
and extract the H data for HDN. Then the feature extraction core will extract the features for decision tree. Finally, the HDN core and decision tree core will generate two recognition results for each image. Because of the time limitation, I cannot explain all the modules in detail. I will focus on some core blocks here. Now, I will introduce the HDN core for static gesture recognition. This is the hardware architecture of the HDN core. It incorporates a weight memory and feature map memory to store all the parameters of HDN on chip. It also incorporates two processing engine, PE1 and PE2, for conclusion. And they are cross-connected by a shared link. Each PE consists of a weight register, WREG, and a feature register, FREG, a multiplexer, a multiply and accumulation array, and the activation unit. Through the shared link, two PEs can get access to the feature registers of each other flexibly. For example, in the PE2, when the enable signal EN2 is equal to zero, then PE2 uses the feature data from FREG in the PE1. And when the EN2 is equal to one, the PE2 uses feature data from FREG2 in PE2. And PE1 also follows the same rule. Then, I will illustrate the working principle of the sequence analyzer. During the motion, recognition core will generate two recognition results for each frame. After the motion stops, the sequence analyzer will determine the dynamic gesture type. During the motion, the HCN core and decision tree will generate recognition results for each frame. They are RE and RD and the hand localization unit will record the location of the hand continuously, that is VE and HE. After the motion stops, the sequence analyzer will determine the dynamic gesture by using the RE, RD, VE, and HE. The sequence analyzer is composed of three main parts, the majority voting unit, the direction decision unit, and the gesture lookup table. Then. I will explain each module of the sequence analyzer in detail. The majority voting unit is used to select the dominant static gesture in motion based on the majority voting scheme. The six counters here is used to count the number of recognition results corresponding to each static gesture. For example, if the RE and RD are all equal to ULD, then the ULD counter will add 2. After the motion stops, the sorter will select the two static gesture P1 and uh, P2 with highest counter value N1 and N2. That means this system is error tolerant. Even though there may be some misclassified gestures, they will be neglected through the majority voting. The noise filter will check whether the two selected static gestures are caused by misclassification. If the counter value is larger than the preset threshold, the static gesture P1 and P2 will be output as the dominant static gestures DP1 and DP2. The direction decision unit calculates the hand moving direction by comparing the hand location at the beginning and end of a motion. The output signal UD indicates whether the hand moves up or down. The output signal LR indicates whether the hand moves left or right. According to the dominant static gestures and the moving direction, the dynamic gesture time can be decided. Finally, the dynamic gesture can be determined through the lookup table. Now let's focus on the measurement results of the prototype chip. Uh, this is the micrograph of the prototype chip fabricated in the TMCMC 65 nanometers, and uh, this is the testing platform of our chip. This is the power measurement result. 
We can see from the figure on the left, the chip works well when the supply voltage ranges from 0.6 volt to 1.2 volt, and it consumes the lowest power of 184 microwatt at 0.6 volt. This is the diagram of power breakdown. We can see that two compact classifiers only consume 17.7% of the total power, which is power efficient. This is the dynamic gesture recognition accuracy of the prototype chip. We can see that as the hand moving speed decreases, the recognition accuracy increases gradually. It reaches the height dynamic gesture recognition accuracy of 94.9% at the speed of 5 to 10 centimeters per second. Well, actually, this speed is quite slow and not practical. So the common hand moving speed is 30 to 40 centimeters per second. And the recognition accuracy at this speed is 92.6%. This is the compression table with some state-of-the-art HJR systems. Thanks to the compact algorithm flow and the co-optimized hardware architecture, the proposed system consumes the lowest power and the lowest processing latency with high recognition accuracy. It can recognize 24 dynamic gestures with an average accuracy of 92.6% with 30 to 40 centimeters per second moving speed under the complex background. Now, let me make a summary. In this work, an ultra-low power accurate real-time hand gesture recognition system for smart edge devices has been proposed. Thanks to the computation efficient ensemble model, the hand gesture recognition system achieves high recognition accuracy with low computation intensity. The hardware architecture is also co-optimized. The HGN core maximizes the data reusing and reduces the memory accessing, which contributes to the power reduction. The error-tolerant sequence analyzer improves the robustness of the system through the majority voting scheme. As a result, the hand gesture recognition system achieves 184 microvolt which is six, uh, which is 92.6% dynamic gesture recognition accuracy and 48.4 microsecond processing latency, which is suitable for smart edge devices. And this is the reference used in this slide. Okay, that's all for my presentation. Thank you.